It's part three of Barbie Movie Reviews, the final part. Barbie, A Perfect Christmas. Unironically, one of my favorite Christmas movies. It's comedy gold. Plus half a star for Skipper's comically large fuzzy boots, minus one star for the mere existence of Chelsea. Should have let Chelsea rot in that barn. Imagine greeting your fashion designer aunt wearing those outfits. Why don't they have furniture in their living room? That squirrel is the best Barbie villain since Preminger. Barbie in a Mermaid Tale 2. Yes, Mom, my surfing competition is more important than the health of the entire ocean. It's not as good as the first, but it still slaps. I love that the Australian character is called Kylie. It's true. Every Australian is called Kylie, after Kylie Minogue. Worth watching just to experience the single worst Australian accent in all of film history. Rivals to Lovers, 1 hour 12 minutes. Love wins. At a point in my cinematic viewing career where I rate movies purely on how hot the mom was. 3.5 out of 5 stars. Barbie, the Princess and the Pop Star. The cinematic classic Barbie as the Princess and the Popper does not deserve this blasphemy of a remake. If Barbie as the Princess and the Pauper is Sims 2, this is definitely Sims 4. Yeah, the graphics are better, but everything feels a bit more vapid and shallow, and I can't help but feel that someone is trying to sell me something. Glad the kids have this out of the way early. It's good for them to know that an autocracy will straight up lie to its citizens and conceal the existence of a diamond bush while the impoverished suffer the effects of a drought. Damn, Kira really likes purple. Why are their teeth so small? It's 6 a.m. What the frick am I doing? The cover of Girls Just Wanna Have Fun almost sent me to an early grave. Barbie in the pink shoes. I fully believe that this movie should have gone harder with its stupid premise and ended with Barbie fully just doing the worm instead of her ballet choreography and then being applauded for her incredible artistry. The relationship between the boys is all I care about. Why did the friend's race change halfway through the movie? I was watching it and then all of a sudden she was white? Huh? I highly doubt this is what the reviewer actually meant by her turning into a swan, but I think it's funnier this way, so. I'm not getting married. I'm only 17. 17? Better late than never, my sweet. Haley was the only redeemable character, but Kristen absolutely deserves to suffer. I really want reality to give her a big slap in the face because no one would ever hire someone as unreliable as her, especially if she's not even better than the current star ballerina. Barbie movies like to send the message of being yourself, but this movie promotes ignorant rebellion. Barbie, Mariposa, and the Fairy Princess. We get it, Mariposa. You're a librarian who'd rather stay at home and you like girls. Z is the main character. No one shines like her. You can't just put on a bibble mask and then try to be bibble. There's no heterosexual explanation to Mariposa and Princess Catania's dancing scene. I just don't understand. Does Mattel intentionally make these movies gay? Or is it just all accidental? I'd like to have a Q&A session with the Barbie crew. Barbie and her sisters in a ponytail. Why is Barbie in love with this horse? Skipper being racist, Barbie almost engaging in illegal exotic pet smuggling. Just a regular Barbie movie. I wish I could dance as well as Skipper's horse. Skipper and that boy are the greatest enemies to lovers story. Why does the blonde guy in this movie look like Draco Malfoy? Barbie, the Pearl Princess. The line, I don't want to be a king, I want to be a botanist. Paired with eccentric body movement is what makes this the greatest film of all time. Freddie Mercury, is that you? I'll never stop thinking about the pink octopus lady with the big hair. The hairstyle she does to hide in the salon? Chef's kiss. Basically Rapunzel, but underwater. Except Barbie doesn't want to see the woman that kidnapped her as a baby destroyed, but rather brought in to live in the castle with her. So, Stockholm Syndrome. Barbie and the secret door. Malusha is maybe the greatest thing to happen in all of cinema history. When Barbie does that thing where her dress turns into a beam of light and transforms, you know stuff's getting heavy. The bright colors in this movie made me kinda nauseous, to be honest. When the overbearing male dance instructor called the girls dancing hippity hop, I lost it. I love when writers truly speak the language of the young people. 
When they asked Barbie what a boy was, was my favorite part of the whole movie. Guess all the mermaids and fairies are all dating each other. Wish I could live there. Barbie in Princess Power. Tired. Ordinary teenager Peter Parker getting bitten by a radioactive spider and becoming a superhero. Wired. Princess Barbie getting kissed by a radioactive butterfly and becoming a superhero. That butterfly gave me the creeps. If a superhero saves me from a burning building and then introduces herself as Super Sparkles, I'm telling her to put me right back where she found me. Why does Barbie look like a Tim Burton character in this? The best part of this flick was just the bond between that frog and the Baron. He gave that froggy such a hard time, but you know those guys were ride or die. The worst part was the streaks in both the science girl's hair. Oh my gosh. Barbie in Rockin' Royals. Camp Rock meets Pitch Perfect, but without the camp and far from perfect. This movie is about the far-reaching impact of divorce. And also the pop star has some very bad singing moments. I love it. Just walk around the lake and swap. It's not that bloody hard. I'm obsessed with the concept this puts forth, that there is an unbreachable social dichotomy between royalty and professional musicians. Her hair looked like toothpaste. Barbie and her sisters in the great puppy adventure. The most memorable part was Barbie's old bedroom. That's a vibe I want to achieve in my apartment. Man, it would suck to have Barbie as an older sister. Also, does Barbie have a mom? It's always Barbie's Aunt Priscilla, or her grandma, or Barbie's sister McKinsley. When do we meet her mom? Does she have a mother? Is that why she has to develop so many skills, because she has to parent her three sisters? Is she the legal guardian? Will there at some point be a Barbie movie slash Jane Eyre retelling where Barbie marries an old rich professor to help support her sister's college funds? If any of y'all say anything negative about Taffy, I will personally come to your house and bludgeon you to a pulp with a bat. Taffy could not be a worse name for a dog, but still. Barbie, Spy Squad. Can we watch Charlie's Angels? No, we have Charlie's Angels at home. Charlie's Angels at home. Okay, so hear me out. This movie would have been infinitely shorter if they had just detached the thief's grappling hook from the railing that first encounter. Boop, she's dead, and the movie lasts 40 minutes. What's up with female spy movies and them being in groups of three? Barbie gets a lightsaber. I don't think any criticism matters. Barbie will appear in Star Wars Episode 9 and defeat Kylo Ren with her double-bladed lightsaber. Barbie, Starlight Adventure. <laughs> Paper. Barbie saves the day by being Elsa in space, but with starlight instead of ice, and also because she knows the secret song the universe sings. This is why I love Barbie movies. Minus half a star because popcorn was basically a revamped bibble, and I hated it. I want this Barbie to be my girlfriend, and I'm not even going to stop myself from saying that because she didn't have a love interest in this movie, and I'm gay. Space Ranch. Barbie and her sisters in a puppy chase. The level of anger I feel about the ending is nowhere near the level of emotion anyone should ever feel about a Barbie movie. Get that poodle away from me! The poodle freaks me out. The poodle. No. Stay away from me. I like how this doesn't have an antagonist like most Barbie movies do. The only villain here is Barbie's driving. Barbie video game hero. Oh look, a noob is a real quote in this film. I was actually rooting for the massive dancing purple virus monster. This is a government propaganda film that brainwashes young girls into learning HTML. The kids these days didn't have MySpace, so they need all the encouragement they can get. They literally ended this movie with, You know what else is cool? Just Dance. The longest Just Dance advertisement ever. Barbie Dolphin Magic. They should have made it PG-13 and had the evil lesbian with the I want to speak to the manager haircut freaking drown. Who brings four puppies on vacation? Okay, so the gemstone dolphins are named after the respective colors, but Ruby is a pink dolphin and not a red dolphin? Mmm, unrealistic. I'm gonna for once not make a movie with two female leads gay. It gives off the message that I don't appreciate how beautiful and powerful female friendship bonds can be. Not everything has to be romantic. Barbie, staring off into the horizon, sadly holding the conch Isla gave her that bonds them forever no matter what and how far away they were. Isla. I miss you. So anyway, this is gay. There's no way Barbie's voice actress, actual real-life bi woman Erica Lindbeck, didn't read the script for this movie and go, damn, this shit gay. 
Barbie Princess Adventure. Who knew a plastic doll company was so good at recycling? This is like the fifth time they've used the Princess Switch plot. So you're telling me they didn't stop once to wonder if they were twins? The evil reprise of the boy band number knocked me out of my seat and I'm still thinking about it. My favorite part was when the horse did a flip mid-air. Haven't seen this movie, but those dresses with the stars all over them are potentially the most critical fashion disaster of this century. Okay, but why did the people attending the princess's coronation have the audacity to get dressed like it was a Sunday barbecue, with their jeans and t-shirts straight from Target's sales rack? Like your country's been preparing for this day for 18 years, have some respect! Barbie, big city, big dreams. Barbie squared. The only labels we believe in are designer, is the gayest line I have ever heard in a Barbie movie. I swear to god, I thought they were gonna sing I Gotta Go My Own Way from High School Musical during the confrontation scene after being summoned to the dean's office. Barbie should sue that school for being wrongfully expelled. Sigma Barbie grind set? Okay guys, I've run out of Barbie movies, so until they make like 10 more, this will be the end of the Barbie series, but I am going to be doing more. Like Monster High, maybe Polly Pocket, uh, Disney movies, stuff like that. So stay tuned for those in the future. Thank you guys for watching this series and enjoying it so much. I love you guys.